Look at part one. Now we are ready to start. For each question, choose the correct answer. 1. What time will they meet? I wish there was a later bus. We arrived too early. What should we do for the next 45 minutes? There was a much later bus, but we would have arrived too late. The film isn't until 8.15, so we have about one hour. I need to go to the pharmacy. Let's meet 15 minutes before it starts. No problem. I'll be there then. I'm going to get a hamburger and chips as I haven't eaten anything yet. I'll wait for you by the ticket office. Now listen again. I wish there was a later bus. We arrived too early. What should we do for the next 45 minutes? There was a much later bus, but we would have arrived too late. The film isn't until 8.15, so we have about one hour. I need to go to the pharmacy. Let's meet 15 minutes before it starts. No problem. I'll be there then. I'm going to get a hamburger and chips as I haven't eaten anything yet. I'll wait for you by the ticket office. Two. Where is the girl's diary? John, can you help please? I've lost my diary again. Have you seen it? Isn't it on the desk where you usually leave it, sis? I started off looking there and I've just checked the wardrobe. I also looked behind the sofa, but it wasn't there either. Check your bag and around the bed in case you dropped it there. I can't see it around the bed. Oh, there it is! Under the newspaper. So it was exactly where I first looked. Silly me. Now listen again. John, can you help please? I've lost my diary again. Have you seen it? Isn't it on the desk where you usually leave it, sis? I started off looking there and I've just checked the wardrobe. I also looked behind the sofa, but it wasn't there either. Check your bag and around the bed in case you dropped it there. I can't see it around the bed. Oh, there it is! Under the newspaper. So it was exactly where I first looked. Silly me. Three. What is not open on Monday? With lots of nice weather coming over the next few weeks, maybe you should think about seeing some of the local sites. The castle is open all week except Sunday and costs £10 for adults and £5 for children. The Leisure Centre has a range of prices depending on what you want to do and is open every day except for Saturday and Sunday. The City Museum is free for children and adults and is open weekends and Tuesday through Thursday. If you know of other places, call us on 0800 3232. Now listen again. With lots of nice weather coming over the next few weeks, maybe you should think about seeing some of the local sites. The castle is open all week except Sunday and costs £10 for adults and £5 for children. The Leisure Centre has a range of prices depending on what you want to do and is open every day except for Saturday and Sunday. The City Museum is free for children and adults and is open weekends and Tuesday through Thursday. If you know of other places, call us on 0800 3232. Four. What will the woman have? This menu has such a good selection of breakfasts. But I usually end up having the same thing every time. So I guess I'll have egg and sausage with my toast. I'll also have a pot of coffee with hot milk. OK, I'll order the same for little Ryan. Without the coffee, of course. Don't get him sausages. He doesn't like them much. OK, then. I think I'll have the same as him. And I would like a pot of tea, too. I'll call the waiter over to take our order. Now listen again. 
This menu has such a good selection of breakfasts, but I usually end up having the same thing every time. So I guess I'll have egg and sausage with my toast. I'll also have a pot of coffee with hot milk. Okay, I'll order the same for little Ryan without the coffee, of course. Don't get him sausages. He doesn't like them much. Okay then. I think I'll have the same as him, and I would like a pot of tea too. I'll call the waiter over to take our order. Five. Where did the man go on Saturday? Morning, Steve. How was your weekend? Did you manage to go away with the family for the weekend like you planned? It was great. Actually, we didn't go away because it was raining, but we ate a great meal at the new Italian restaurant in town on Sunday afternoon. Oh, and on Saturday evening, my wife managed to get some good tickets at the last minute, and we saw a great show in town. The lead actor made a great Hamlet. The whole performance might even be made into a film one day. Even the kids loved it. Now listen again. Morning, Steve. How was your weekend? Did you manage to go away with the family for the weekend like you planned? It was great. Actually, we didn't go away because it was raining, but we ate a great meal at the new Italian restaurant in town on Sunday afternoon. Oh, and on Saturday evening, my wife managed to get some good tickets at the last minute, and we saw a great show in town. The lead actor made a great Hamlet. The whole performance might even be made into a film one day. Even the kids loved it. Six. What will the man buy for his brother? I'm thinking of getting my brother a leather sofa for his new house. He only has large cushions to sit on. That's pretty generous, but I thought he needed a dining table. He found a very nice one last week, although maybe a computer would actually be more useful for him. He doesn't have one at the moment. I'm not surprised, knowing how much your brother hates computers. I would stick to your original idea if I were you. I think he will be happier with that. Now listen again. I'm thinking of getting my brother a leather sofa for his new house. He only has large cushions to sit on. That's pretty generous, but I thought he needed a dining table. He found a very nice one last week, although maybe a computer would actually be more useful for him. He doesn't have one at the moment. I'm not surprised, knowing how much your brother hates computers. I would stick to your original idea if I were you. I think he will be happier with that. Seven. How will most people travel to work tomorrow? And now for the hourly traffic update. After a bridge was damaged, the main motorway out of town has been closed. Police say that the motorway will remain closed until at least tomorrow morning. This means that many bus services will be cancelled for now. Taxis are the best choice for short trips around the countryside. Office workers going to the city are advised to use the intercity railway connection. The railway company has announced that they will use extra trains to help those who are travelling. Now listen again. And now for the hourly traffic update. After a bridge was damaged, the main motorway out of town has been closed. Police say that the motorway will remain closed until at least tomorrow morning. This means that many bus services will be cancelled for now. Taxis are the best choice for short trips around the countryside. Office workers going to the city are advised to use the intercity railway connection. The railway company has announced that they will use extra trains to help those who are travelling. That is the end of part one. We'll turn to part two, questions eight to thirteen. For each question, choose the correct answer. Eight. You will hear two friends talking about going on holiday.
Is your family going abroad this year on holiday? Yes, we're going by air to a Greek island for the first five days. Then we're going sailing for a week with a group of my parents' friends. That sounds great. This year I'm going camping nearby with some kids in my class. Although I love traveling, I prefer to hang out with my own age group. Okay, I won't have the lovely beaches and the sea like you, but we can do whatever we like without our parents around. Lucky you. Mine still say I'm too young to go off by myself. Now listen again. Is your family going abroad this year on holiday? Yes, we're going by air to a Greek island for the first five days. Then we're going sailing for a week with a group of my parents' friends. That sounds great. This year I'm going camping nearby with some kids in my class. Although I love traveling, I prefer to hang out with my own age group. Okay, I won't have the lovely beaches and the sea like you, but we can do whatever we like without our parents around. Lucky you. Mine still say I'm too young to go off by myself. Nine. You will hear two friends talking about extra school courses. Have you decided which extra course you're going to choose this year? I thought I'd do something unusual like woodwork. I don't want it to be just another boring lesson. Yes, I think you may be right. Since we have the opportunity to choose, I think it should be something we really want to do. My parents want me to take extra computer studies to help me with my future job. I get really depressed at the thought. You might discover a new career doing a course. Why don't you do photography, as you love taking pictures? If there is a course, I'm definitely in. Now listen again. Have you decided which extra course you're going to choose this year? I thought I'd do something unusual like woodwork. I don't want it to be just another boring lesson. Yes, I think you may be right. Since we have the opportunity to choose, I think it should be something we really want to do. My parents want me to take extra computer studies to help me with my future job. I get really depressed at the thought. You might discover a new career doing a course. Why don't you do photography, as you love taking pictures? If there is a course, I'm definitely in. Ten. You will hear a boy talking about a water skiing weekend. So, how did the water skiing go? It was much harder than I thought it would be. I've done it on lakes, and it was quite easy. I thought I was pretty good, but when you're on the sea, it's completely different because of the waves. I didn't feel very safe, although my instructor was right there with me, which was great. That's something, I guess. You'll learn. I think I'll stick to lakes from now on. Now listen again. So, how did the water skiing go? It was much harder than I thought it would be. I've done it on lakes, and it was quite easy. I thought I was pretty good, but when you're on the sea, it's completely different because of the waves. I didn't feel very safe, although my instructor was right there with me, which was great. That's something, I guess. You'll learn. I think I'll stick to lakes from now on. Eleven. You hear two friends talking about a book they are reading. Have you finished reading the book for English? No, I'm finding it difficult to get into. I mean, it's a fascinating story, but I find it difficult to work out. I love the way the author describes his childhood. But then I get lost when he suddenly jumps to another part of his life. Yeah, that's my problem too. It's like a puzzle. I have to keep going back to read things again. But in general, I like his unusual use of language. It was a good choice of book for the class to read. Personally, I don't think so. Now listen again. 
Have you finished reading the book for English? No, I'm finding it difficult to get into. I mean, it's a fascinating story, but I find it difficult to work out. I love the way the author describes his childhood, but then I get lost when he suddenly jumps to another part of his life. Yeah, that's my problem too. It's like a puzzle. I have to keep going back to read things again. But in general, I like his unusual use of language. It was a good choice of book for the class to read. Personally, I don't think so. Twelve. You will hear two friends talking about clothes. So which pair are you going to buy then? You're taking ages to decide. Look, the black ones are perfect, but I don't really need shoes like these. The other ones are more useful. They go with jeans and more formal clothes. I just don't know. I hate having to choose. I agree. The black ones are nicer on you. Wouldn't they look great with your black jacket? But the others are a really cool style, and they are your favourite colour. I would get both. I'd better be sensible for once. Besides, I can't afford it. Now listen again. So which pair are you going to buy then? You're taking ages to decide. Look, the black ones are perfect, but I don't really need shoes like these. The other ones are more useful. They go with jeans and more formal clothes. I just don't know. I hate having to choose. I agree. The black ones are nicer on you. Wouldn't they look great with your black jacket? But the others are a really cool style, and they are your favourite colour. I would get both. I'd better be sensible for once. Besides, I can't afford it. Thirteen. You hear two friends talking about mountain bikes. Could you help me buy a mountain bike? I need something not too expensive. Well, I don't know if you should try and go for a cheap used one, as it may not be reliable. I'd buy a good one, or you could regret it. Your bike is the most important thing in this sport. I know, but I don't have that much to spend, and the bicycle is just the start. I need other equipment too, like a helmet and special clothes. It's not a cheap sport, is it? There are more expensive ones, though. Now listen again. Could you help me buy a mountain bike? I need something not too expensive. Well, I don't know if you should try and go for a cheap used one, as it may not be reliable. I'd buy a good one, or you could regret it. Your bike is the most important thing in this sport. I know, but I don't have that much to spend, and the bicycle is just the start. I need other equipment too, like a helmet and special clothes. It's not a cheap sport, is it? There are more expensive ones, though. That is the end of part two. Now turn to part three, questions fourteen to nineteen. For each question, write the correct answer in the gap. Write one or two words, or a number, or a date, or a time. You have twenty seconds to look at part three. You will hear a woman talking about tours of historic houses in the south of England. Good afternoon. I'm going to tell you about the three tours we are currently organising to historic houses in southern England. Mystery surrounds the exact origins of South Elmham House. Although it is known to date back to the 13th century when it was built by the bishops of Norwich. 
but was remodelled by several rich lords in the 16th century. It also contains some of the oldest wall paintings in the country, which suggests a very wealthy family once lived here. On the grounds, there is also the ruins of a small Norman church. Tours include walking through the deer park to the church and start at 2pm. It costs £12, including tea, coffee and cakes. A midday meal can also be booked. Hawley Hall was built in the late 14th century, just outside a ruined Norman castle. It was updated and added to in the 18th century. King Henry II once owned the house and its current owner is a lord. It includes secret hiding places in the walls and two tunnels which are now bricked up and a three-acre garden. Tours start at both 11.30 and 2pm and cost either £15 with a traditional lunch or £12 with tea. Groups are also welcome. 12th century Bedfield House is deep in the countryside and used to belong to the church until the mid-15th century, when the modern house was built. It was surrounded by a river, or moat, and inside the building, the painted surfaces and plastered ceilings have anti-witchcraft symbols. Five bridges connect the beautiful five-acre gardens. Tours take place at 10.30 and 2.30 and cost £13.50, which includes tea, coffee and cakes. Groups are welcome. Now listen again. Good afternoon. I'm going to tell you about the three tours we are currently organising to historic houses in southern England. Mystery surrounds the exact origins of South Elmham House. Although it is known to date back to the 13th century when it was built by the bishops of Norwich, but was remodelled by several rich lords in the 16th century. It also contains some of the oldest wall paintings in the country, which suggests a very wealthy family once lived here. On the grounds, there is also the ruins of a small Norman church. Tours include walking through the deer park to the church and start at 2pm. It costs £12, including tea, coffee and cakes. A midday meal can also be booked. Hawley Hall was built in the late 14th century, just outside a ruined Norman castle. It was updated and added to in the 18th century. King Henry II once owned the house and its current owner is a lord. It includes secret hiding places in the walls and two tunnels which are now bricked up and a three-acre garden. Tours start at both 11.30 and 2pm and cost either £15 with a traditional lunch or £12 with tea. Groups are also welcome. 12th century Bedfield House is deep in the countryside and used to belong to the church until the mid-15th century, when the modern house was built. It was surrounded by a river, or moat, and inside the building, the painted surfaces and plastered ceilings have anti-witchcraft symbols. Five bridges connect the beautiful five-acre gardens. Tours take place at 10.30 and 2.30 and cost £13.50, which includes tea, coffee and cakes. Groups are welcome. That is the end of part three. Turn to part four. Questions 20 to 25. For each question, choose the correct answer. You have 45 seconds to look at the questions for part four.
you will hear a radio interview with a young clothes designer called Sally. Sally, tell us how you became a clothes designer. Was it something that you had always wanted to be? Not really. Although I have always been creative, I used to sketch all the time while I was at school. I had even thought of becoming a cartoonist at some point. Anyway, I went to art school when I was nineteen to study for a degree in painting. Most art students dream of becoming a famous painter, and so did I. I thought I could be as good as Rembrandt or Picasso one day. And did you become a successful artist? Not really. I was managing to sell a few paintings, but not enough to pay the bills. That's why I had to work in a clothes shop part time as well. I have to say, though, that it was good fun, even though it took away so much time from my painting. It was so difficult to find a gallery that would show a young artist's paintings, so nobody really saw my work except for my friends and family. Of course, all of them agreed on my talent, but that is not enough, is it? So, how did designing clothes come about? Did you start to design clothes for the shop that you worked in? No, not at all. But I did learn a lot about the fashion industry, and I started to get very interested in fashion for the first time. I had always been a jeans and t-shirt girl until then. When I was about twenty-two years old, I started doing my own designs as a hobby. I draw clothes in the evenings and weekends, and it somehow took over from my painting. It was something new and exciting at the time. One day, my boss saw my designs by accident. I admit, and decided to introduce me to a friend of his in the fashion industry. One thing led to another, and I got a job offer I could not decline. And the rest is history, as they say. I see. So, have you ever been interested in designing men's clothes? Actually, I have been asked to work on some ideas for suits for men and generally smart formal clothing for special occasions. I'm a little bit nervous about the project as I've never done anything like this before, but at the same time, I'm very excited to try something completely new to me. Finally, Sally, what's the best thing about being a designer? I do get paid quite a lot for my designs, but this is not what matters to me the most. I don't even care for the fancy outfits I get to try on first. To tell you the truth, for me it's such a fulfilling job, and there is no better feeling than seeing the clothes that I have designed on display. Now listen again. Sally, tell us how you became a clothes designer. Was it something that you had always wanted to be? Not really. Although I have always been creative, I used to sketch all the time while I was at school. I had even thought of becoming a cartoonist at some point. Anyway, I went to art school when I was nineteen to study for a degree in painting. Most art students dream of becoming a famous painter, and so did I. I thought I could be as good as Rembrandt or Picasso one day. And did you become a successful artist? Not really. I was managing to sell a few paintings, but not enough to pay the bills. That's why I had to work in a clothes shop part time as well. I have to say, though, that it was good fun, even though it took away so much time from my painting. It was so difficult to find a gallery that would show a young artist's paintings, so nobody really saw my work except for my friends and family. Of course, all of them agreed on my talent, but that is not enough, is it? So, how did designing clothes come about? Did you start to design clothes for the shop that you worked in? No, not at all. But I did learn a lot about the fashion industry, and I started to get very interested in fashion for the first time. I had always been a jeans and t-shirt girl until then. When I was about twenty-two years old, I started doing my own designs as a hobby. I draw clothes in the evenings and weekends, and it somehow took over from my painting. It was something new and exciting at the time. One day, my boss saw my designs by accident. I admit, and decided to introduce me to a friend of his in the fashion industry. One thing led to another, and I got a job offer I could not decline. And the rest is history, as they say. I see. So, have you ever been interested in designing men's clothes? Actually, I have been asked to work on some ideas for suits for men and generally smart formal clothing for special occasions. I'm a little bit nervous about the project as I've never done anything like this before. But at the same time, I'm very excited to try something completely new to me.
Finally, Sally, what's the best thing about being a designer? I do get paid quite a lot for my designs, but this is not what matters to me the most. I don't even care for the fancy outfits I get to try on first, to tell you the truth. For me, it's such a fulfilling job, and there is no better feeling than seeing the clothes that I have designed on display. That is the end of part four. That is the end of the test.